Mike Modric, uh, could you explain to people what today's uh, protest is about? This protest has been called today by Northern Ireland's largest trade union, NIPSA. Other people have attended as well, from Campaign Kazakhstan, from the Public Service Trade Union, PCS, and from the Socialist Party. And the whole purpose of the protest today is to commemorate the slaughter of workers in Kazakhstan last year on the 16th of December 2011. At that time, the state forces moved against striking oil workers, shot them down in the streets, terrorised their families, and jailed many of the leaders of that strike. We're here to get today in solidarity with those workers, and as part of an ongoing campaign, campaign to transform the lives of working people in Kazakhstan. And well, what's the situation now facing uh, workers in general in Kazakhstan? Is it as brutal as made out to uh, some of the media? There's no question. It is a brutal regime facing working class people and facing the independent trade union movement. In the last few days, some of the organisers of the trade union movement have been arrested by the regime and are currently being held in jail. Long-term trade union organisers and human rights organisers are sitting in jail at this moment in time, and even people who were injured last year by the state forces are in jail. There is a general blanket of repression across the country, and this has to be lifted. Trade union rights have to be fought for, and a socialist transformation has to be fought for in Kazakhstan. And so, where next with your campaign? How can people in other countries well, this, this protest today is one of a whole number of protests taking place internationally in England and the south of Ireland and across Europe and across other parts of the world today on the 16th of December. There are commemorative protests. We are all linking together as an, under an umbrella group called Campaign Kazakhstan. I would urge anybody who is watching this today to look on the internet, find Campaign Kazakhstan and become part of the campaign unite with us in trying to build solidarity for Kazakh workers and together with the Kazakh working class we can transform the situation. We need to send practical solidarity, we need to put motions through uh, union conferences and we need to campaign so as to change things. The things that, ca that the Kazakh workers are calling for and that we would support is first of all proper medical aid for the injured from last year's massacre, the release of all the political prisoners in the country, the trade union prisoners, recognition of trade union rights and recognition of the right to politically organise. If the working class had those rights today, Kazakhstan would be transformed tomorrow. The regime in Kazakhstan would not stand. It would be overthrown by a democratic movement.